Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Lazy Man's Way to Make Coffee. I'm out for drinking coffee in case you didn't already know, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to make the perfect and easiest cold brew for summer, because it's right around the corner and you wanna be prepared. So just like every coffee recipe that I'm ever gonna give you, you wanna make sure that you have the perfect coffee for you. I today have Quietly Santos Cana, which has notes of raspberry, vanilla, and almond, which I think is gonna be great for a cold brew. Another factor to take into consideration is that this is a cold drink, so you're gonna to wanna to add ice to it. But adding ice is probably gonna dilute the coffee and it's not gonna be as good. So one thing that I do and one pro tip that I use is that I take either old coffee or brew up some extra coffee, throw it into some ice cube trays, throw it in the freezer, and now you have coffee ice cubes for any cold drink. So let's get it started with that. So just pour the coffee in. Doesn't have to be anything special. And obviously, I'm not gonna sit here and wait for the ice. So like movie magic. And there you go. You have coffee ice cubes ready to go. Now let's get started on the actual coffee. So you're gonna want 40 grams of coffee beans. Rather than the normal 30 that you use for French press or pour over or whatever. And the reason is that you're gonna want more potency with the coffee. Because it doesn't extract as well in cold water as it does with hot water. So you wanna make sure. You've ground up some coarse beans, just like this, just like the French press. You want it a little bit coarse, you want some chunks in there. You wanna make sure that you actually see the chunks and it's not too finely ground. So that in itself is perfect for cold brew at 40 grams. So the next step is basically taking your coarse ground beans and putting it into whatever it is you're going to be brewing in. I'm currently gonna be using a tea steeper and the reason I'm using the tea steeper is because it makes it a lot easier for you to clean up afterwards. But you can use a French press, you can use a jar, you can do whatever you want, just something that you're gonna put in the fridge later on. Now, I've done that, and I will take my cold water, pour it in nice and slow, and just fill it up to as much, basically as much coffee as you want. So I'm slowly gonna fill it up and have it ready to go. And now it's good. Pop my lid on. And it's locked in tight. So now that you've prepped your steeper, your French press, your jar, whatever it is you're using, all you gotta do is put it in the fridge. Now, for perfect extraction and perfect saturation of the beans, I would say give it about 24 hours. You can do 12, but it's not gonna be as strong, and obviously you want your cold brew to taste like cold brew. So give it 24 hours in the fridge, and then you're good to go. So now it's been 24 hours. Your coffee's good to go, good to drink. Your ice cubes are good to go. All you really gotta do now is pour and enjoy. You might wanna give it a little bit of a swirl there and you're good. Perfect. So obviously you can add cream to this if you want. You can add milk, you can add some mint, you can add a little bit of liquor in there, you know, spice it up a little bit for a late night cocktail, but this is good and it'll last about two weeks. So do with it as you please. And there you have it. Lazy man's way to make perfect, easy cold brew. I've been out for drinking coffee and hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you go out and try this coffee out. And all I ask of you is to like, comment, subscribe, and just go enjoy some good coffee. We'll talk later. Cheers.